So there is a misconception that a contract 3D printer farm is really just a bunch of 3D printers put up on racks and held in a contained space with a lot of power. And that is not the case. A printer farm, like any sort of factory, is not the single machine that is making some component. It is the entire system around it. So let me explain this a little bit more. Within the workflow of Slant 3D, we operate one of the largest service print farms on the planet. And when a client comes to us and they send us a part and it is approved for production, that part is uploaded to our automated system. That system selects the machine where that part will go. That machine will then start printing the part. When the part is done, that machine notifies our main system so that a technician can go and collect the part or bin of parts if the machines are running in an automated fashion, collect that part, tag which machine it came from so that we have good tracking of where parts are coming from should there be quality issues. Those parts are then taken over to a post-processing area. Inside of post-processing, they may have uh, deburring or support removal or any other types of final inspections that need to go into that part. By the way, side note, you should attempt to minimize post-processing as much as possible inside of the design of the part. If it can come off the machine fully complete, that is the goal you wanna hit, especially if you wanna hit really large scale of production. Back to the main video. So once the thing hits post-processing, there is generally a checklist that is created with a client where each part is evaluated and verified. Technicians are trained on individual parts, especially if we're doing a mass production run, so that they're making sure that the part that goes out the door is exactly what the client ordered. And different clients have different standards of what the part should be. Someone making a hardware bracket wants it to be rough hewn and thrown out the door just as cheap as possible so a rejection rate and there's a minimal amount of waste. Someone with a consumer grade product will have very explicit needs on texture and color matching and all the rest of this kind of stuff in order to make sure that each part is exactly the same and is within certain standards and tolerances that are defined beforehand. Just like a machine shop. A machine shop will have a certain tolerance for a bracket made for somebody in an afternoon and a different tolerance for something like an aerospace grade part. But then once those parts are taken through, they are then put into warehousing where they are stored and kept track of and inventory is held. And then over time, if it's a print on demand product or buffer material that we are fulfilling for the client, then parts are pulled from that warehousing, put into a box, shipped out the door. You might have noticed that of that entire process, the printer only made the part and then there was everything else around it. A print farm is not a bunch of machines on the shelves. That is the simplest part of it. It is all of the infrastructure processes and controls around those machines that allow them to produce something consistently, reliably, and on time. These things are processes like checklists, how you onboard the client, what questions do you ask them to make sure that you're making a good part for them, what are the tolerances, what are the standards, how are parts tracked, how is machine errors tracked so that you don't make a bunch of waste. If a machine breaks down, how do you fix it? If it needs maintenance, how do you do that? What are the systems for making sure this, that, and the other thing works? This is not unique to 3D printing. This is standard manufacturing. Within a manufacturing space, whether you are making 3D printed parts, injection molded parts, or machined parts, the factory is what is the actual product. It is not the machines inside of the factory. It is all of them working together as a single body, as a single organism, whose job it is to make parts that you guys ask for. So no, a print farm is not a bunch of machines on a shelf. A print farm is a factory with extremely complex and well-defined systems all around those machines to make sure that the part that you get is as good as it can possibly be. Have a great day, everybody.